Hello Year 7s and welcome to your textiles lesson for today. This is lesson 2 of the print project and I am just here to talk you through what the expectations of this are. Now our lesson today is all to do with mark making. Now on the screen in front of you you should now be able to see um, an example of the sort of thing I'm looking for. Now you don't have to lay it out exactly the same as this, you can lay it out in any way that you want as long as you've considered the presentation and it's neat. Somewhere on it would be quite good to have the title of mark making and we are going to use a variety of different things to create our marks. So here you can see we've got pencil, so we've got crosses, zigzags, curves, pencil dashes, we've got um, a pencil where we've used a pencil here and then used a rubber to take out a bit of negative space. We've got some coloured pencils, we've got some cross hatching. Now over here we have got some paint with a fairly dry brush and we've got paint on uh, using a wet surface and letting the paint bleed and spread within that. This is paint that's been splattered and over here these three are all ones that have been done using fabric and we have used some thread to um, create the marks on that fabric. Now you can do this in any way, shape or form you want using any equipment that you might have. Um, I'm going to start off talking about the basics to do with pencils um, and pens and then I will show you a little bit more of different creative ways that you can do it. Now here on this one I've just thought about my presentation and I've decided that I am going to create a box full of crosses and within each of these I'm going to fill it up with uh, different varieties of mark making. Um, to prevent myself slipping into different boxes I'm just going to use a bit of masking tape and with that masking tape I am just going to line it up with the edge of the box. You don't have to do this and if you don't have masking tape you don't worry about it. you don't need to buy anything for this task just use what you've got at home so it could be that you want to just block it out and use it with a piece of paper or you might just be able to be really neat and not need that so I'm going to start off over here using a pencil make sure it's nice and sharp and I am just going to work on creating lines in here so I'm just going to do some simple lines across Like that. That's one of them done. I'm then going to work on another one. I'm just going to reuse my masking tape so I'm not making having loads of waste. Now you may have done something like this in art before. And it's fine if you've already done something similar, you've just got a little bit more knowledge and just work on building on that. So you're not doing exactly the same things if you've done before. So this one I'm going to do cross hatching. I am working on sort of using different uh, pressures on my pencil as well so that it's coming out and being a little bit different. It doesn't need to be 100% perfect, you can tell that my lines here are not 100% straight and that is absolutely fine. It's just all to do with experimenting and making a variety of different marks. I went out the box there a little bit. So you could, with the normal lead pencil, then try anything along the lines of sort of um, curves, dashed lines, uh, wavy lines... Um, crisscross even like little shapes that you might do you could do something like a continuous um, line as well let me just do one of those and just show you what I mean by that but you're just really focusing on the marks that you can make so for example if I was to do a continuous line I could just go like 
And the continuous line is not taking your pen or your pencil off of the paper. So something like that. And I can keep building on it and working through some different ones. Um, let me show you the sort of thing that you could do with just a nor uh, normal coloured pencil. You get some new masking tape. I'm only using the masking tape to just try and make sure I'm staying in the um, borders. You don't have to use it, it is making a little bit of marks on my paper. So you, if you've got sort of a better alternative or you're really neat, you don't have to use it, okay? So I could start off here, doing lines across. I might, with my coloured pencils, want to add maybe some darker shades within them. even add some marks over the top so I could do something like little dots all over the top or something like that I could do maybe like dash lines now it doesn't need to be 100% neat we're just experimenting and trying out our marks it doesn't matter if they end up not working that's absolutely fine Um, right, I will try and speed it up a little bit so you're not listening to me for too long. Um, you could use something like a fine liner. That works quite well, uh, particularly if you try and pick a colour that sort of works well together. Um, so that's just a plain black one. We've got over here some different Sharpies that you could try out some different ideas with. So we could try out some dash lines. And we could use some different colours within that. And you're just experimenting using a variety of different equipment. Um, I've got some other pens over here as well, which would work quite well. So I could maybe do um, some curves with this. Like I said, it doesn't need to be 100% neat. You could try even drawing round things to create curves. That, that works quite well if you sort of draw around something that's circular. And even if you add over the top sort of different bits of shade in here, you could sort of mark things out however you want it to go. So it's up to you how you want it to look, but just experiment with it. At the moment I'm just sort of adding some interesting marks, just experiment and think about what sort of patterns and marks we might want to make. Later on in this sort of project you will end up creating your own print and I will ask you to look at some of these that you made here and maybe pick a few that you could sort of help um, you to create your own print. Okay. So those are those ones. Um, I'm then going to show you some using fabric and some other materials and paint and things like that. Now I'm not going to do it directly onto here but I, I'll do it on a separate piece of paper and then cut it out just because, because it's wet it's not going to end up, um, it will start smudging and it's quite difficult to end up keeping it in the box in here. Okay. So if you're using paint or anything like that, I suggest you might want to put some newspaper down or a plastic sheet just so it's um, out of the way and it's nice and clean. 
Um, I've tried some out here. These ones didn't really work, but they are options that I could do with the pens that I was using here. Now, I also mentioned mentioned to you before about using some different items within your house. So I've just gathered a few different things that people might have in their house. So we've just got um, a tube, we've got some cocktail sticks, um, some tin foil, some bubble wrap, and some ki uh, kitchen roll. Now, for this, I have gathered some of this sort of ready mixed paint. Now, you might not have any of this, um, but if you have, this is something that you could try out, or it might be that you have other alternatives that you could also use. So, I'm just going to use the the tube I'm just going to dip it in the paint and I'm then going to use it to print and that's a form of making marks and you could use your own sort of idea of how you might want it to go so you could do it sort of more in a sort of design or something like that now you could also use something like a, one of these rolls and you could even do some sort of snips into it and it will create a very different design just bear with for a minute So try not to get yourself to paint on that you've had on the other end so something like this you want to spread it out and then you can just use some of the paint on the edges of it and then you can sort of use it to print and make designs if you had a bit of a bigger paint palette than I've got, you could um, create them sort of a flower shape as well. That would look quite effective. Right, I will put that to one side. Okay, so similar sort of thing. If you have got cocktail sausages, um, the sort of sticks from cocktail sausages, sorry you can then use those to create any marks of your choice like that you could even if you wanted to stick a few of these together and see what that made um, if you've got any sort of like straws maybe at your house you could try out some things with that if you've got anything sort of like a old toothbrush that would work um, so that you could create some different marks with it, I just need to make this a little bit bigger so it fits in my box for later. Now I'm trying to stick to similar colours scheme um, just because I've sort of decided I would like my print to be mostly blue. Now you might think later on actually I've got some favourite colours and I really want to focus on those ones. In which case do that, that's not a problem. So something like that for there. Um, we then got things like a bit of um, silver foil. You can just dip that into the paint and try that out and see what sort of shape you can get. With something like this, you can manipulate it and you can change it. So what might have been a print like that a minute ago, if printed down like that, is going to have something slightly different. So just bear that in mind if you're doing something like that. Um, bubble wrap. Uh, with the bubble wrap, it's quite interesting to make prints out of it, but I would probably avoid just dipping it in the paint and I would work on sort of painting onto the surface. So, more like this. Now, I could even just cut out this into my square and use that as my marks because that looks quite effective, but it will also work if I put it onto paper. That there something like that okay 
so those are a few options for you i've also got some other paints over here so just give me two seconds So I've also got some other paints over here. Now these ones are called watercolour paints. And so you've noticed that the other ones we were using, we didn't need to add any water to that because it already got a it's already liquid in substance. Whereas watercolour paints are slightly different and they are solid until you add and blend it with water. So you would need some water for this one and a paintbrush. And I'm going to select my blue over here and just use a bit of the water again and I can then create marks with my paintbrush so I'm using fairly dry brush at the moment because I've only just started and the paint isn't too wet you can use this to create different marks And you can, if you want as well, wet the paper without any paint at first and put quite a bit of water on. And then add your paint with quite a bit of water and it should bleed into it. So see how it's spreading? That's because of the water. Um, but when that dries it gives a really interesting effect it sort of shows a a bleeding effect and you'll find that some places will be have sort of more of the paint and some will be um have less of it and so therefore will be lighter rather than darker so just something like that and that gives you some ideas too if you wanted to use paint splattering you could do that as well. Let me find a bit of spare space on here. Just make sure that you, you've got a clean area and your parents are happy for you to do that. Get your paint, make it fairly wet. Just tap your brush and it will start splattering it. You can also do these with old toothbrushes and that works quite well using that as well. So that is some ideas with paint. I've also got a couple of ideas that you could do with pieces of fabric if you've got anything like that at home. So I've got a few pieces of fabric here. Um, so I started this one slightly earlier and my sort of plan for this was sort of folding and I was just cutting little sections out of it to create marks in the fabric and then when I push them up like that that creates some quite nice marks I've also done a triangle there and you could get that effect if you were to do cut a full triangle out like that okay so that's one option you could do something like that you could if you have any fabric that's sort of quite thin you can actually use your hands to make marks in these. And that gives quite an interesting effect. This is sort of tight material that you'd use for tights. So if you pull them, it would make it run. That gives some quite interesting effects on how to make marks using fabric. So that's another option. You can also use masking tape and use it with some paint so if i had something like this like that and then use a paintbrush and some paint let's So if I'm using the paint from earlier, the ready mix paint, not the watercolour, it doesn't work so well. Um, and then painted that on. I would put something underneath because it will mark your table and probably go through, particularly if your fabric's a bit thinner than mine. There 
you don't need loads on here but the idea is where your sort of masking tape is you can um, create almost like a resist which gives quite a nice pattern um, you could even sort of do sort of marks on here so use the brush to sort of do cross hatching or anything like that if you wanted to I'm not going to fill in everything because I think that you probably want to get on and do your own so you could do something like that and then when you pull off your tape you can see it's best if you let it dry first really um, but I just want to show you what it looks like you can then see that it creates an effect a little bit like that okay so that is something that you can do see what I mean about the table so just make sure that you've protected everything before you start the things I've used you don't have to use them you can use something of your choice so whatever it is that you think you might want to use try it out if it doesn't work it's not the end of the world it's just a process of trying things out and working to create different marks out of different materials that we can hopefully later on um, change to make a print okay thank you for watching and any questions please let us know we are here to help you